Hello, everybody. Now, in this very brief uh, screencast, I just wanted to talk about the FeedBurner Awareness API because it's very important. Podcast Tools uses it to grab FeedBurner statistics. So, in this quick podcast and this quick screencast, I want to show you how you set it up and the pros and cons of having it set up, just so that you're fully aware. So here we are, I'm logged into FeedBurner. You can see that it's feedburner.google.com.now. FeedBurner's been owned by Google for oh, a couple of years now. Um, I've got loads of feeds in here, that's why I've got such a big long list. Most people will have a shorter list than this. So let's go to the podcast that we're interested in. I'll, I'll choose a sort of this one, which hasn't been used for a long time, so they won't mind if I turn the API on and off again briefly. Um, so here we are on the sort of um, the home page for this particular podcast here, and um, you can see that there are a number of tabs at the top. Um, it starts off on this analyze tab. Now, um, before I show you where you get to the bits that controls the feed burner awareness API, and I'll explain what it is as I go along, so bear with me. One thing that you just need to get uh, sorted out first, if you stay in this analyze tab and go down to the bottom here, it says configure stats. So if you go there and just be aware that if your feed is for a podcast, there's not necessarily a lot of point in having these three clicked here these item views because that is um, particularly for sort of like the page views unless you want to but the one that you really ought to have clicked is that one the item enclosure downloads because what that does it makes feed burner keep a note of how many actual enclosures that's the podcast themselves are being downloaded so make sure that is ticked in that way so make sure your stats are configured that way so that's on this analyze tab at the bottom here now to get to the awareness api you need to go to this publicized tab and down the menu here you'll see towards the bottom awareness api sort of tucked away there you click that now let me explain what the awareness api is um, an api stands for the um, application program interface and it's basically it's an API is just a way for a program or a website to have some special sort of commands that computers can use. So other computer programs can, can sort of get to their data sort of programmatically, programmatically, if I can say that correctly. That's all it actually means. Um, now, when you switch the, the awareness API on in FeedBurner, there's one thing that you, you ought to be aware of. It's not very secure. What that means is that any sort of slightly geeky person that knows what he's doing could theoretically um, take a look at your feed burner stats if he knew what he was doing. He would just have to know the right sort of URL to use. Not difficult to do. So geeky people, while Awareness API is switched on for your feed, would in theory be able to go and have a look at your numbers. Now some people may not be bothered at all by that. In fact, some people just publish their feed burner numbers. Other people might be a bit more wary about that. So just be aware that when you turn it on, it is available not just to Podstats, but to anyone that has the sort of technical awareness to know where to look. So just bear that in mind. You might, I mean, you might want to turn it on for a while and then off because um, podcast tools will sort of remember, look and remember, and then turn it on again briefly later and then, and then turn it off. It's kind of up to you, but just be aware that other people can see your stats providing they know what they're doing when the awareness API is turned on. Okay, so just a little caveat there. And it's really easy to turn on. I bet you can guess how you do it. That's right, you press the activate button. Just once, not twice like I just did. And uh, save it as well. I think you have to press activate and then save. And now it's on. For this particular feed, it's on. And what that means is that um, a pod stats can sort of behind the scenes go into FeedBurner grab your latest stats and display them on the various reports and graphs and things. So that's how you do it. And if you want to turn it off, you just deactivate it over here. Just like that. Nice and easy. So that's the FeedBurner Awareness API. It's called Awareness because it, I guess it makes other people and programs aware of your stats. So there you go. Have fun.